Is self lender a scam? Is it not a scam? And do I recommend it? Now, the first thing I want to say is this, guys. Disclosure: I don't have an incentive to recommend this product or not to recommend it. That's why I don't have a referral link down below, and I'm not sponsored by them either. Because I've seen a few YouTubers out there they try to give a non-biased review, but they're sponsored and they also have referral links in the description. So that's not the case here. Nothing to worry about. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys if self lender is the best option to actually build credit or if it's not. Now, a short background is this. Guys, I helped my mom build her credit score from having nothing whatsoever for the past 40 years to now having a credit score of around 720 without using self lender, without having any fees, without having any interest, without having anything whatsoever, just building her credit over time for the past nine months. And 720 is a pretty good score if you ask me in just nine months. So there's that. So if you want to find out exactly how I did this and if self lender is the best option for you, stick around to the end of this video. Now, on top of that, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiny Bryson, I'm an accountant and I post videos on YouTube every single day yes I said daily content so make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video which is literally every single day on top of that do me a favor hit the like button if you're actually excited to actually learn about credit scores and how to actually build it from nothing to something without having to pay a single dollar for it now I want to ask you a question why do you want to build your credit score it's actually very important that you know exactly what you're doing what you're doing because if you don't know then why are you even doing it in the first place you know don't just say like oh because it's good for you no, comment down below exactly why do you want to build your credit score? Is it buy a house to get a loan? What is it for? Comment down below. Now that you commented, I want to clarify one thing, and here it is. How does self lender actually work? And I'll be honest with you guys. When I watched that video on self lender, it sounded pretty cool, pretty great if you ask me. And here's how it works. Basically, they get you a loan when you apply, right? They get you this loan. This loan, the money from the loan, they put it in a CD that earns around 0.01% on the CD. On top of that, they have you pay money every single month towards that loan. And then by the end of the loan period, you get your money back plus interest. And you also get some credit history, which builds your credit score like crazy. Now, the concept is great. And I went a little crazy when I first saw it until I started doing more research. So stick around to the end of this video so you actually find out if I recommend it or if I don't recommend it. Now, the second thing is this, guys. Who is self lender actually for? It's for people that want to build their credit score, usually people that are brand new to credit and don't really want to get a credit card to actually start the entire process and see if they get denied, they get accepted, like whatever happens, you have to pay interest, all this stuff. Well, if you want to avoid all that stuff, this is exactly who self lender is actually for. Now, I'll be honest, guys, from the sales pitch, it sounds very great, it sounds amazing. And if I was back in college, I would be like, okay, no credit card. I'll get this at the end of the year, I'll get my money back and I have a credit score pretty cool if you ask me, but I still want to break things down because it's not as good as it seems. So comment down below and let me know. Do you understand how self lender actually works? Do you not comment down below? Let me know. By the way, I'm going to be in the comments down below all day. So whatever you're saying, I'm going to be down there to actually reply to any questions. So feel free to ask any questions along the way. Now to comment it, guys, I want to say something. Okay. I strongly believe in getting the information straight from the horse's mouth. So I'm going to call them right now, ask them a whole bunch of questions. So you guys know exactly what's going on and you hear from them by the way it's 12 p.m i live in new york eastern time and it's thursday so it's still business days and this should answer so let's call in to speak with a self lender representative please press four thank you for contacting self lender this is how may i help you hey my name is um my name is johnny i'm just calling in today to ask you guys a few questions because me and my wife actually want to get into the entire like building credit because we've been working for a long time but we have no credit whatsoever so i was wondering if i could like just ask you like a few questions that's fine with you yeah no problem awesome so the first question i have for you but i have like a list of questions here i just want to cover everything and here, the first question is what do i need to actually get started like what would we, what do we need yeah so uh 18 years or older u.s okay. citizen social security number uh, date of birth, and then um, if you've had no no credit at all, uh, we don't technically require a credit score. Yeah. But you do have to have at least two lines on your credit profile. Okay. Um, and so what that could be is like your, um, and I'm just following, giving you examples when I talk to people who okay. try to apply but they don't qualify. Yeah. Um, it's like your uh, employer um, being able to report your direct deposit, okay. your utility bill reporting, something that just shows that you're able to make you know monthly payments on time, okay. um, but doesn't necessarily affect your score. So mm -hmm. it is kind of uh, confusing because we don't you know, necessarily require a credit 
much. Okay. okay, so what it sounds like is that if you're brand new to credit and you don't even have like a direct deposit or anything set up whatsoever, then that's different. But if you do have at least like two lines of credit, like inside of your entire credit score, like you're good to go. Yeah, so sometimes people are able to like get a profile, credit card, and they can kind of see yeah. uh, that they, they can recognize your identity somewhere. It's just they have mm-hmm. to be able to obviously be able to report to the bureaus, understand that okay. you, awesome. you can and, be reported. Yeah. And, and by the way, I also have, um, because my situation is different from my from my cousin, right? My cousin basically has terrible credit. Does this still apply for him? Like, can he still, like, register with you guys and he has like, his job and he's trying to, like, just get everything together? Or is it just, like, for people, like, more like me and my wife that don't really have, like, bad credit, but we have something established, you know? Sure, yeah. Uh, I'd like to say it's for both, but for anyone that has, you know, pretty poor credit, yeah. uh, we actually don't look at your credit score to determine if you're qualified. We actually look at more your banking history. Okay. So if you have identity theft ever reported, fraud, um, some bankruptcies, but even then, we usually do accept bankruptcies. Yeah. Uh, something that you knew that it may not be you, that someone took your identity yeah. and is trying to make an account, that's, okay. that's more what we look at. Wow, so you guys even accept, like, bankruptcies? Like, as long as, I'm, I'm assuming as long as you have, like, a, like, like proof of employment, right? Yeah, it's, it's usually determined on the, um, on what comes up with their credit with the bankruptcy. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't allow them to open up new lines of credit for an amount of time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we do, um, I've seen... Uh, a lot of people take bankruptcy. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And I and I did notice like on the website you guys have like a whole bunch of like pricings and stuff like that. So for example, what's the highest um loan we can actually take out and then just have like pay that back and then get it back at the end of the year? Like what's the highest one we can actually get? Is it seventeen hundred? Yeah. So we yeah we have one um currently at one fifty a month. Okay. Uh, for seventeen hundred, we'd return at the end of the year. Okay. Um, they have been talking here about removing that one just because it's not as popular. Okay. Um, so don't take my word for it. So just to let you know in case it's yeah. missing when you actually do apply. Okay. Uh, but 150 at, at this time is, is the highest amount. Okay, awesome. And and for example, I noticed you guys don't even like have like a hard pull, but do you guys have like a soft pull? Because you, you still need to like verify everything, right? Yeah, um, it's soft, but it does not even affect your, okay. your score. Okay. Yeah. And I did notice that the entire process is basically like you get like a loan and then you get like this CD and then the money is stored in the CD. Then I pay back the loan. Then I get the CD back with some interest on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got it uh, more or less. So just to give like a visual, what we do is let's say you did the 150 a month. Well, you take out a $1,700 loan in your name, uh, but it's locked in that CD. So Mm -hmm. it looks like an installment loan on your credit report. uh, But ultimately you're paying back that CD. Um, for us to then re- return to you at the end. Okay. Yeah. And here's the question. What happens, for example, if a person stops like making the payments to, that, to, um, to the entire loan? Like, What happens? Yeah, so we allow all customers a grace period. So um, they get 15 days past their due date to get a payment in yeah. without a late fee. Mm-hmm. And then it's not reported late to the Bureau, so you're 30 days overdue. So okay. we do give you roughly a month to get a payment in before we're obligated to report that to the Bureau that's okay. late. Right. Um, so we report after 30 days past due and then 60 days past due. Yeah. Um, if the account reaches 80 days past due, we go ahead and just automatically close it. That okay. way it doesn't go to collections and you don't get a third penalty on your credit. Okay. Um, so with people that enter in a situation who can't make a payment, you know, before it reaches that 30 day mark, yeah. we always recommend to close out the account early okay. to avoid that late report. Closing the account, um, you can do so at any time. Yeah. So if you just want to try the product for six months, you need those funds back, whatever the case may be, you can call us, yeah. withdraw your funds, and ask for report it as a closed, completed account to the Bureau. So same as if you paid it in full. And okay. good and, and, and here's the question, right? Because because on the website, it says that CD is on my name. So I'm assuming that also by um by um by signing up with you guys, I also give you guys like um permission to sell that, like to basically like, like, um, like um, release that CD and just like pay the money back that I actually owe, right? Like you have permission to do that, right? Does that make sense? Uh, sort of. I mean, so the the loan and CD is taken out with a banking partner. They're both locked away. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you're technically paying to the CD, but um, yeah, we don't give you the funds until you withdraw from it. Okay. Or finish out the the loan. Okay. And and quick question: what's the what's the rate on that CD? Sure. So um, you would gain point ten percent in interest. So um, it's not a lot, but if you kept the account open for the whole loan term, yeah, uh, we would return to you like let's say for the one fifty a month, uh, we would return to you a dollar fifty extra. Um, oh, okay. So it's, it's not a ton, um, but it is you know something for having the account open for that long. 
Yeah, it is. Um, and then and then the loan interest ranges from ten to thirteen percent. So depending okay. on which one you do, okay. let me we um, do maintain okay. that amount. Here's a question before I actually get to that. Um, well, my question is this: Is the CD and the loan like does that all come from the same bank? Yes. Okay. And are you guys part of that bank also? We are partnered with three uh, three banks okay. to ask out the loan. Um, they're usually at random, so we wouldn't be able to predict which one okay. you get. Um, but yeah, they would issue out the loan, so it's going to appear as that name on your credit report. Yeah. Um, but if you contact them, they're just going to sell to you down to us about anything you had okay. questions on it. And, and here's my question, because I have seen some CDs out there for like um for like one year where they actually give you around like 2%. So is there any way that I can do a loan and then the same process, but I can pick like my own CD place to actually put the money in? Or is that like not possible? No, yeah, yeah not possible. At least at this time. Okay, okay, I, I understand. And by the way, if I stop paying, well, you already answered this question, but if I stop paying um, past 80 days, then you guys have to like close that account and past 30 days, you have to report it to the, the credit bureaus. So in reality, this can still affect your credit score if you're not responsible enough, right? Definitely, because this is a loan. So a lot okay. of people don't, obviously understand because they didn't get funds up front that it's a loan, but it is. Okay. Just they don't give you those funds up front. Uh, so we're obligated by federal law if you don't make a payment on time to report it, uh, which is why we try to get that grace period. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and how do you guys, um, for example, because I, I've noticed like, like you have like have a partnership with the bank and this stuff, but like how are you guys like making the money then? Like how do you guys like like keep the lights on basically? That's okay if, if I ask. <laughs> yeah, so the admin fee is a fifteen dollar fee that's non refundable, okay. um, and then the interest on the loan. So, uh, like I said, it ranges from ten to thirteen percent. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you did the math on it, like let's say you did the twenty five dollars a month for two years, it's twenty four months. Okay, there's a thirteen. 13- Point sixteen percent interest on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you paid a total of six hundred dollars, okay. and we were returning to you five hundred and twenty-five dollars. Okay, and so here, we're keeping and, twenty-five and here, dollars. And here's my question, um, because um, because what I'm trying to understand is this: Am I paying the interest to you guys, or am I paying the interest to the, the partner bank? Uh, to us. Well, uh, I guess it would be technically it's going to be um, split up between the two. So I don't know those, but uh, we ultimately that's that's how we get uh, money from the the loan and CD okay. that you open. So it sounds like it's just, there's like a partnership between you and the bank where you guys like, um, they probably like get to hold the funds. So in that way they can like make money off the deposits and then you guys get to keep the interest. And then that way you guys can actually keep the lights on. Is that how it sounds? Sounds like it. Okay. That, that makes sense. So the financial, cause I did notice on the website, you guys have, you guys have like a, like a financial charge. The financial charge is like the interest on the loan that I'm paying you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that was like a question that you asked. So, we already take out the interest on your monthly payment, so it's not like you're paying twenty five dollars plus the interest. Yeah. I mean, we're we're keeping the interest already, and in that's compounding each day. Yeah. Uh, so if you look, if you make your payments, if you see, it will show your savings progress. What that savings progress is going to be, if you decide to close out the account today, what we'd return yeah. to you. So it's already subtracting that interest, so it's okay. going to be lower than than your monthly payment. Yeah. So the interest is already like being automatically deducted along with the payments you're actually making towards the loan, basically. That's what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, you got it. Okay, perfect. And for example, are there any penalties for closing in the account? No, there, well, there's no cancellation fee. There is an early CD withdrawal of up to 54 cents. Um, most of the time I see it range from like 10 cents to 25 54 cents. cents. So it's because never I, usually that, that I, high. I, yeah, because I did read something online, like on your on your frequently asked questions. You said like it's like a $5 fee in case like you do close it down because of like, I'm not sure about that. Does that Uh-oh. sound familiar? Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with that at all. Yeah, there's there's never a cancellation fee for yeah. us. It's just to withdraw your CD early. There's some sense to pay for that. Yeah. Okay. And okay. And do you guys like like have any charges like for missing payments? Like for example, if we miss a payment like the first month, like something happened, um, I broke a leg, I can't really pay for it. Sure. So our late fee is five percent of the monthly payment. So that's assessed after 15 days past you. Um, okay. So just depending on what your what your amount you're paying, it would be five yeah. percent of that payment. Um, as well as there would be a fifteen dollar fee if you use a checking account and the payment ended up failing. So it's like an NSF okay. fee that would happen yeah. like with your bank. Yeah. Uh, those fees we don't waive, uh, but they can be rolled over. So some people, you know, um, aren't able to obviously afford the fees. We just report yeah. your monthly payment. So we all we ask is you make the monthly payment and let those fees roll over, and we can ultimately get out of your payout okay I, okay that that sounds okay i understand now thank you so, thank you so much
You've been a great help. I'm gonna pass this information over to my wife, see what she thinks, and see if we can actually make the decision to actually like, like start building our credit. All right. All right, my pleasure. I had my suspicions about a few things, but I just confirmed them by talking to the representative. That's why I always call customer service because I get the information straight from the horse's mouth. And a lot of the reviews I read online, they're not completely like you know centered because they're always biased because they make money from like talking about these websites. Now, here's my thing, guys. I want to talk about the pros on the cons and how this all works. So comment down below first, how do you think that call went? Do you understand everything? Do not understand anything. And if you have any questions, just comment them down below. I'll answer them 1000% guarantee. Now, here are the pros, here are the cons. You will be surprised by this information. Now, the pro is this, guys. They get you the loan, that's the pro. Um, they hold on to the CD for you, that's a pro. And the third pro is this, they make it easy for you. That's about the pros right there. They just ended right there. Nothing else. Now, here are the cons. You're basically mandated to actually, well, not really mandated because they don't really tell you to actually do it, but you have to pay off this loan for 12 to 24 months, but you're accumulating interest every single day, every single month, every single year, and there's no option to just like, hey, I'm gonna pay this off and then just get another one, pay this off, get another one, no. And they don't actually recommend you do that. Why? Here's the excuse. Hey, you know, um, you're... Payment history is one of like the best things when it comes to your credit score. So make sure even though we're charging you interest, you're still paying it off. Okay, it's going to help you. Don't worry about it. Now, the second con is actually this. Now, for a fact, I know this is necessary and I don't really blame them for it, but they have a 5% late payment fee, which is pretty high if you ask me. It's like super high, like super, super high. But that should give you an incentive to make sure you're responsible to make all your payments on time. But it's still super high. And I still don't really agree with it. Tommy, but credit cards are $35. Yeah, but at least you have access to your money. It's not the same thing here, bro. Now, the fourth thing is this. You're giving up all control. Like, you literally can't choose a CD. You can't choose the bank. You can't choose anything. You're just making the payments towards that. You're paying interest, and you get a credit score at the end of the month. Here's my thing. It doesn't make any sense, and I'm going to teach you later on in the video exactly how I did it for my mom and how she actually managed to build her credit score without paying any interest, no fees, no self-lender, no nothing. I'm going to teach you how to do it without any of this stuff. Now, the fifth thing is this. You're getting 0 0.01, well, 0.10%. I'm sorry about that. So it's a big difference. You're getting 0.10% on a CD. For $1,700, you're going to give me like, what, like, what was it, like a dollar and 50 cents? Doesn't make any sense, but Tommy, it's a loan. It doesn't matter. Well, here's my thing. It's costing you money because it's costing you opportunities. If you put that money into an investment account, it'll make around 7 to 12% every single year. But you're putting it in here and you're getting back 0.10%. It's nothing. It makes no sense. There's no money whatsoever. And by the way, it's not free money, okay? Because at the end of the day, it's costing you money to do this and it's costing you opportunity. So it's not free money. And the bank is also making money from your money and self lender is also making money from your money. Now, the last con is actually this. Now, I didn't want to include this until I had all the information and now I think I have a pretty good idea because I just asked her directly. Now, here's the thing guys, what you don't know is this. Self lender makes money in two ways. Well, three ways, by subscribing you to a identity protection two by having you pay a management fee fifteen dollars twelve dollars and three interest on that loan now my original theory was this guys they can get the money from a bank right the bank pays them the money and gives it to you at a lower rate right and they charge you a higher rate and then they just split the difference or they get the money from the bank and just split the difference with the bank because they're in a partnership but here's why that doesn't make any sense guys because you paying 10 to 13 percent on your money just to build your credit is not, it's not a good idea, okay? And I'm going to tell you why later on in the video. But comment down below and let me know. Do you agree with the pros, which is literally like just making things easy by you giving up control over your finances? Or two, do you agree with the cons? Let me know in the comments down below. What are you concerned about? What are you not concerned about? Comment down below. Am I exaggerating things? Let me know. Now, just to summarize everything, guys, I want to clarify one last thing, right? Self-lender is a very smart business, and I would probably invest in them if I didn't know everything I know now, right? Now, the first thing is this. Obviously, they're targeting people with bad credit or no credit history really but they have to have some type of credit history and here's why because those people need to have some type of income coming in so they can actually make all these payments and then just like build up their credit same thing as this they limit the risk by being the broker between you the bank and the cd now again 
if they're making money through a partnership with the bank to split the interest, that's different. If they're making money just by lending the money to you directly and then keeping all the interest and just, and just having you build a CD, that's also different because it means that they're gonna make a ton more money than they are with the partnership with the bank. Now, again, this is a very impressive business plan. Self lender, I respect it. Customer, I don't recommend it. Now, <laughs> now the third thing is this, guys. They make money from the fee, from you subscribing to identity theft, and three, from the interest that you're actually paying this loan that you don't really need to pay. I'm gonna teach you how, don't worry. Now, the fourth thing is this. If they were smart, they would take this money, leverage it out, lend it out to more people at a higher rate, which they already are doing, and just spread it around savings accounts with high yields. That's what I would do if I had this business, and they're obviously doing it also because guess what? You lend them money while well, they're lending you money. They make interest on it. Then they make more loans at a higher interest rate and they just keep making more and more money. And all they really give you is a credit score history, which I can help you build that for free. So let me explain everything to you now. Here's what I did for my mom and here's what I recommend you actually do. Get a secured credit card. Now tell me what is this? A secured credit card is a credit card that's backed up by money. Now I have a video on this which shows you the top three secured credit cards out there that you will qualify for one of them no matter what. Now here's my thing. That video is in the description down below. You can go search it. But here's my thing. I got my mom this credit score to actually build up with this credit card. And here's the thing guys. It actually does charge you interest but here's how it gets so fancy. It's because hey she doesn't have to pay interest unless she carries a balance and it's not mandatory. So for example, the first thing my mom did is this, okay? She started spending money, her regular expenses on the credit card. Every single month she pays it off and for nine months she did that and guess what happened? She got her credit history, she didn't pay any fees and she didn't pay any interest whatsoever and they also increased her credit line to around $1,000. And she started like around 800, okay? And she's also getting a whole bunch of offers from credit card companies like American Express just to come over there because now she has a pretty good decent score and now she can actually have like a regular credit card okay now again guys get a secure credit card build your credit card history like that pay it off every single month you pay no interest and there are no crazy little tricks here just trying to pay you 0.10% on your money no don't do that if you want to make money just invest your money, save your money for assets, and just like do things like that. But just having your money locked away for like 12 months and you're being charged interest and you're just getting back, what, a dollar and 50 cents? It doesn't make any sense to me and it shouldn't make any sense to you. So the answer is this. Tommy, do you recommend this app or this application or this website? The answer is this. I don't. I don't recommend it. Now, I don't want to leave the video without giving some advice to the company. And here's what I would do, guys. And this is kind of tricky, but here's what I would do because you guys do have a pretty good system and I really like it. But here's my thing. What I would do is this. Just charge people a fixed monthly fee for doing the service, either a dollar, five dollars. And on top of that, upsell them on the security thing of identity theft. People love that stuff, okay? People want to be secured. Now, that's ten dollars a month. Now, here's what else you do, right? You tell people like, hey, you know, we're going to put this money in a high yield savings account for you, you're gonna earn around 2.57% if you're doing it with Wallfront or a partner bank, whatever you wanna do, like at least 2%, and you tell them, hey, we're only gonna charge you 1% on this loan. Now, why? Because now the person knows that, hey, I'm not really losing money by having my money locked away, but I'm also gaining a profit by having my money sit there. On top of that, you guys still get to earn money by charging people a fee every single month. On top of that, I recommend you figure out a way to keep that customer for the long term. So not just for the credit thing, but as you figure out a way to offer that customer something after they already have their credit score, either through partnerships, like offering like credit cards and stuff like that. That way you make more money through affiliates and all that fancy stuff. But guys, right now, don't recommend it. Don't go near it. Doesn't make any sense. Get a secure credit card and build your credit score like that. Comment down below if you agree with me if you don't agree with me comment down below if you're still gonna get it no matter what i said i want to know and let me know why you actually decided to get it and guys as always thank you for watching the video if you like the video go ahead and like the video hit the like button it helps the channel grow a ton really appreciate it and hit the like button if you want to earn more than 0.10 percent if you don't hit it it means that you're okay with earning less than 0.10 percent it doesn't make any sense to me on top of that if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video which is literally every single day and if you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one, Una uno, just ask me any questions. Just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson or comment them down below. I'm always in the comments. And if you want to talk to all of us here on the channel, just join us on Discord. Only 100 spots are open. After those 100 spots are closed, we won't open it again until 2020. So get away, you still can. And guys, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next video. And peace. You've got to start at the bottom.